our modern world is the result of the doomsday planning that the US government did and never used during the Cold War. It was in, uh, the Pentagon's desire for a decentralized communications network that could survive nuclear war that first led to the investments that eventually became the internet. It was uh, the first chat program uh, ever designed, uh, sort of the forerunner of Skype and Facebook Messenger and AOL Instant Messenger was a program called Emissari that was originally used for the government bunkers to communicate amongst themselves for, uh, to discuss stockpile levels in the event of uh, an unfolding catastrophe. And even the airplane reservation system that we use anytime you're booking a ticket on Kayak or Orbitz or Expedia, wherever you prefer to book airplane tickets, is a descendant of Sabre, which, is, which was the original program that the US designed to track incoming Soviet bombers during the Cold War to launch these evacuation protocols. And that this was also, uh, there are some very physical legacies to this, that the interstate highway system uh, that we use uh, you know, on a daily basis around the country is, was originally conceived in part by Dwight Eisenhower as a way to speed the evacuation of urban cities uh, and to speed the movement of relief supplies and war material around the country, that he was very obsessed uh, with logistics and how we would actually be able to move things around in the country in the event of a, uh, an attack on the United States. And that was part of the original conception for what was, when it was originally founded, known as the Interstate uh, and Defense Highway System. Uh, in the United States. This is also where you begin to see, for the first time, the US government keeping mass secrets, that, which it has obviously a very important legacy in the modern national security state, where you have the secrets of the atomic age were the first time that the US government had ever had to need to keep large numbers of secrets secret for an indefinite period of time. And so before then, you had had you know, a secret battle plan uh, or a secret uh, diplomatic mission, but there were, not the ex there were not the technical secrets, there were not the uh, infrastructure secrets that we now consider so much of the core of the modern national security state. 